Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Glory Pendra Akpan and how are you doing? I'm so glad guys we're almost at 1000 subscribers. I appreciate your subscription and I appreciate your comments and contribution to this channel. If you're new here, please kindly subscribe and get me up to 1000 subscribers in no time. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use ready-made cups to make my to make my cup buddies or a cup buddies bustier. Yeah, I'm going to drape on this cup and I'm going to use the drape or patterns from the cup to make the bodies. Please stay tuned and see how I do it. Watch this video to the end and give me a thumbs up. In the description box, I have a link to a tutorial I did where I actually made the cup pattern from scratch using that manipulation on my bodice block. Please head down to that video and watch it as well. Then watch this one and choose which one you like most. First and foremost, I'm going to be holding a dart on this cup. Yes, right there at the bottom of the cup. I mark down at the center and I'm going to hold about a one inch dart. My client's bust is 40.5 inches and this is a 44 inches cup. I beg your pardon, a size 44 cup. So I'm going to roll down at the center so I can position my dart. So I have my dart in place and the length of this dart is 2.5 inches. Notice how copy the cup now looks because of the dart that has been held there. So now we proceed. I'm going to um, drop my cup on the brown paper and that line on the edge of the paper that will represent the center front line. So from the edge of the paper here, I'm going to be marking 0.5 inch inwards. So I'll mark 0.5 inches inwards all the way down and using my ruler, I'm going to connect these points in a straight line. Okay, so we've positioned our cup and now we're going to be marking out our measurements. So nipple is 10.5, so I'll make sure the apex here is 10.5 and shoulder to under bust is 14. You can see this is spot on 10.5 and 14 down here so i got the cup right so please take note guys when you have a cup and um, a bust of um, 40 41 inches please try to go for a cup of about 44 a cup of 44 and then hold that one inch that Okay, so from under bust that 14, we're going to mark our waistline. And then the waistline is at 18 inches. So there we have 18 inches, okay? I have ruled out my under bust line and my waistline following the marking I've done earlier. So what I just did there was mark my bust pants, which was seven inches divided into two is 3.5. And I make sure my bust pants marking aligns with the center of the cup. Then I went ahead to trace the outline of the cup, ensuring the bottom of the cup touches the under bust line. That's a cup right there. Um, am I okay with this shape? Or do I want it to go higher? I think I'll just make it go higher towards the side seam. Okay, so I beg your pardon. Come close. Alright, so we're not going to be working with this. I won't work with this anymore. I'd rather work with this, right? So, there we go. 
So from there now I'm going to rule out. Okay. So this is the pulp. You can hear my baby crying in the background, so I'll take a break and go attend to her now. <laughs> I'm back, so we're going to do a quick recap. So I placed my cup and I made it um, slightly higher, tilted higher towards the side there, right? And then I connected the line going outwards towards the side seams. So coming towards the center front now, I'm going to connect from the edge of the cup there out to the center front line, just like so. Okay. So I took another short break to attend to baby and by the time I got back my toddler has um, done her scribbles on the pattern so I had to use paper tape to mark those to hide it all right so I'm going to be imputing my measurement so we have to bring back our breast cup so I'll put the breast cup on the pattern because we're going to be taking our measurements over the breast cup so our box circumference is 40.5 divided into 4 would be 10.1 so I like to make my bust or the front bodies bigger than the back bodies so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 0.5 to 10.1 which makes it 10.6 and I'm going to take out that 0.5 I added to the front from the back so I'll place my tape 0 at the center front line and move my tape over the bust cup ensuring that the tape is going through the apex of the cup and then coming to the chest line I'm going to mark my 10.6 inches from there I'm going to be connecting down to the waistline where I'd already marked out my waist circumference and some um, that excesses earlier on I'm sorry that was done behind the camera I'm sorry yes yeah, so i i just divided my waist circumference into four yes and then i added one inch for my dots so i'm going to be imputing my dots right now so i'm going to mark out my bust pants on the waistline and on the under bust line then i'm going to go ahead and connect those two points in a straight line and then mark my one inch dot on either side of the bust pants on the waistline yeah you know how to impute the dots now so using my ruler i'll connect my dots straight up to my under bust line in the pattern drafting method we would have had a side dot right there which would make the side seams balance up as the back bodice length is always shorter than the front bodice length my front bodice length here is 18 inches right but my back bodice length is 16.5 so in this method i will just subtract 18 16.5 from 18 which leaves me with 1.5 inches so i'll come to the side seam here and i'll mark the 1.5 inches and then i'll make a curve oh guys freehand method mm, you have to be careful i'll make a curve like so bringing it down to the waistline and i'll just quickly confirm yeah okay that's 16.5 so i'll go ahead now and smoothen out this curve so it doesn't have any sharp Corners, and I'll just quickly confirm that this hasn't affected my waist circumference measurement guys amazingly this turned out really beautiful on the client at the end of the video I'll show you the completed outfit it didn't look like there was any funny curve you know going on like you can see on the pattern it looks very natural and really really gorgeous I think we're set to cut I added one inch in allowance on the side and I continued my cutting. Checking things out there one more time. 
looks okay and then i'll label center front and side seam and arrow so i'm not confused and there we have it the front pattern is set so we're going to be drafting the back bodies now now remember our bust circumference was 40.5 we divided that into four and we got 10.1 now i took out 0.5 from the back and i added that to the front to give the front 10.6 so it means we are left with 9.6 at the back hope there is no confusion here it should have been 10.1 i took out 0.5 from 10.1 to add to the front which made the front 10.6 therefore i have 9.6 left at the back now i take my side pattern from the front and align it with the markings there just as you can see me do so the side seams of the front and the back can align I'm going to connect the points just as you can see so I'll come towards the edge of my paper here which is going to represent my center back and mark 16.5 as well then I'll connect the points so I can have a straight line so I'll nicely label the center back so you're not confused now coming to the waistline my waist circumference is 8.5 inches that is after dividing into four and i'm going to use 0.5 to contour the center back so from the edge of the paper down to the marking you can see there yeah to that point is 0.5 and then from there i mark my 8.5 inches then i'll use a ruler connecting from 8.5 markings upwards just as you can see and i would also connect from the 0.5 marking upwards to contour the center back so it's time to cut i'm going to adjust the neckline at the back uh, right now we have a straight line and i want it to be slightly curved so i'm going to use my ruler you know bringing it downwards at the center back line and tilting higher at the side seam i've made a slant which would appear like a curve at the center back when we're done sewing ignore the paper tape there you see towards the side seam that was because i forgot to impute the one inch sewing allowance on the side so i had to stick paper to do that okay so now i'd like to have a style line at the back of um this bodice so i went ahead to mark my bust distance of apex divided into two and then i connected it to give me some sort of v some slanting line coming downwards towards the waist so i'm going to cut now so arrows so we know where the neckline is so there you have it the front and the back pattern so i've cut out our fabrics as you can see i am using the same fabric to line it's a satin fabric so as you can see for the center back piece there i have four pieces um cut out and then the side and um, back i have four pieces as well cut out and i'm going to be um, putting lace on it you know just to make it beautiful okay guys i'm so sorry about what's how the view is right now i was really exhausted when i came back to complete this project and i had no idea that in trying to position my camera at an angle which i thought was appropriate had changed the view to um, a portrait instead of um, landscape i'm so sorry so we are ready to drape our cup just stay focused guys i'm sorry very soon um this segment would be over and we'll go back to the normal viewing so yeah my fabric has been placed on bias there as you can see um we need a bias um cut to um, freely drape or stretch our fabric around this cup which is what i have there right now yeah, yeah. okay so what what i'm doing i've placed my fabric on the cup and i'm going to be pinning the fabric to the cup while pulling the fabric round i'm pulling it round till the fabric lies smoothly on the cup so watch i'm 
I have pinned the um, fabric around the cup until I got to um, the center of the cup where I held my darts on the cup. So I'm just going to keep pinning and then I would have some excess fabric there which I would use to form a dart. That's the excess fabric. You see it's already taking shape in the form of a dart excess triangular shape and then look how smooth the rest of the fabric is laying on the cup so I'm going to pin to hold the dart excess so that's the dart as you can see okay I would still pull and uh, stretch the fabric until it's smooth going around the cup my dad so I'm going to use a pen and actually trace out this dot once I'm done cutting the excess fabric I have around the cup So actually one half an inch um, sewing allowance that I had to turn the cup inside upwards so I can see the difference between the fabric and the cup. So I'll leave just the half an inch sewing allowance around it. So I'll use my marker to mark the dots. So with the design my client has chosen, which I'm going to put up somewhere on the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to be draping pleats or making pleats on this cup. So as a result of that, I think I'll just leave this dart in place. I'll trim it off, taking off some excess, and I'll sew the dart just as it is, you know. But if you want to make um, other style lines or any other style line, like the trendy ones you see out there, you would need to use this as a pattern to then do your dart manipulation and get your desired style line. So I trimmed out the excess um, triangle of fabric, so my dart is very little, just as you can see. So now I'm going to be taking out the pins from the cup, so I can lay out my fabric and use it as a pattern to cut um, fabric for the second cup. So. This is what it looks like. You can see the darts there. The legs of the darts are kind of curvy. See the curve right there. So we're going to use this to put um, the fabric for the second um, cup. Please take note the fabric was placed on fire. So you can see my dart has been sewn. And then I place the fabric one more time over the cup, stretched pull and pinned it on the cup so now my cup is prepared and ready you can see how smooth it is and um, so I'll just go ahead and make pleats on this cup because that's the style if it weren't you would have to make a style line going across like so so before I went ahead to pleats on the cup i just thought it was wise to hold this foundation fabric 
together with the cup so I could take out my pins. So I'm using hot um, candle gum to glue the fabric to the cup so my pins can come off. So while gluing, I was really, really careful not to allow the glue to touch my seam allowance because that way when this glue dries out it becomes very 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 hard and this would affect my sewing machine needle so i'm very careful not to let the glue get in the part of my seam allowance with the magical powers of editing i'm done look how smooth my satin fabric lies on the cup So I have joined my side seams, all my panels, and I have boned these bodies. I have pleated on my cups, as you can see, and I lined it as well on the wrong side. And we're done. I just wanted to take a look at my boning. These days I'm so crazy about it, like, where have you bones been all my life, you know? So once again check out our cup so this saves you the time of drafting pattern but to be very honest I think drafting pattern and making my own cups I feel is the best you know these ones are both they work but the other works better So here the dress is finished and I thought to come show off the finishing of this garment but you know the zip is okay it's coming down now <laughs> all right check this clean finish guys oh my god oh my god you know my clients were so satisfied the fit was a one fit she was so satisfied like she had no idea this was me trying out the new method of making cups. She loved the cups and the sit well on her bus. Please kindly subscribe, like and share this video with others. God bless you and see you soon.